you know, we love talking about hunting and visiting everybody, but like you, we love doing it way more than just talking about it, and it's time. The choice begins now. No matter the weapon, no matter the season, the choice is simple. Just hunt. Featuring North America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicky, and the posse. Welcome to another season of The Choice. We're out here doing some early scouting and, well, we're having fun, huh? We had are. some deer over there running. It was pretty cool. Yeah, had little bucks chasing some does and mm -hmm. all. It's kind of cool. It is. You know, years ago we came out with The Choice because in all of our travels we saw an influx of fighting amongst all of us sportsmen and women and it, ju it just, it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. I mean, we've said this over and over and over is that, you know, we have to stop the fighting amongst ourselves because we want to be able to have our grandkids and their grandkids continue to hunt. Now more than ever, we really need to fight, stay strong and stick together. It's not about us. You know, it's not about all these TV shows and look at me and all. It's, it's about getting the youth and getting the women and, and showing that they're true hunters. And, and keeping our numbers strong and together. And right, because the Absolutely. more we fight amongst ourselves, the bigger division it becomes and the easier it is to shut it down. You're right. And of course, like normal, we're going to do our lucky logo. Ooh. So right here on the this week, th this week on the choice, the little is yellow the yellow box. Nikon logo. L7. You have to look for it, and at the end of the show, we'll tell you again where you have to go and what you have to do with it. And Nikon. someone's going to win some Nikon Lucky stuff. Logo. Yeah. Mm. So this week, you and Zendel. Yeah, the Z Meister. You know, it was. I think you girls had this like thing. This ladies only again. Well, yeah. Somewhere caribou hunting in Quebec, and yeah. well, we Z and I ended up. Whew, you guys went to Northwest Territories. We went to the territories with Aurora Caribou Camps, Greg Robertson, and we had an unbelievable hunt. Matter of fact, there were two guys, and how many girls did you guys have? There was eight of us. Eight. And us two guys got four caribou, right? Yeah, and us eight women got 14. But you didn't get them all. Well, no, there's still we some out there it. for other hunters to go and get them. Let's go caribou hunting in the territories <laughs> and leave the girls behind. Life is funny. Today it's all about going green, being earth friendly. Wow, reality, what a concept. We sportswomen and men have been doing just that since the beginning of regulated hunting. Sportswomen and men? Absolutely. Just think, every time we purchase a hunting or fishing license, habitat stamp, federal duck stamp, any shooting and most hunting gear, we are putting back to help protect, enhance, regulate, research and restore a very renewable, God-given resource. We donate to very sound, proven wildlife organizations that truly do put back and make a difference. There are those who say we are wrong. Let them show us, and everyone, what they have done for wildlife. Ask them, do they buy land for wildlife habitat? Do they provide food for those in need? Besides mandatory taxes, do they pay anything to use our local, state, and federal lands, natural trails, camping areas, park wardens, biologists, and so on? No, we don't have to talk about going green. We have already made our choices and continue to do more than any of those who say hunting and fishing is wrong. The choice is about bringing us all together so that we stand strong, give our voice strength, open new horizons, get the youth involved, and expand the adventure for the whole family. Even if you don't agree with some things, if we continue to divide amongst ourselves, we, we will eliminate, eliminate our choices. You know, that statement was pretty clear. It is. It it's really very is. clear. And, and, and we appreciate everyone viewing, everyone watching. And we have a great season for you. And we just want to make sure that our statement stood strong. And it needs to be because we need to get the youth and the women involved. And us guys, well... Sometimes we have to leave them alone, and that's what we did this week. We let them stay in the kitchen and, you know, do well, whatever. Okay, well, you do whatever, but let's go to commercial when we come back. You and Zenda can go and chase across Northwest Territories in the tundra. Yes, Aurora Caribou Camps. Here we come. Welcome back, back to, to the, the choice. choice. 
Let's start early this year, shall we? Yes, yeah, you're starting already. <laughs> you know what was really cool is heading up to on most caribou camps, you have the choice of what weapon, or you can bring both weapons. Right. Your bow, well, you and Zendel each took a bow and a Thompson Center. You guys took we your took Pro Hunter, our Pro Hunter 270 barrels. barrels, and I mean we had a blast and. I mean, we were into caribou. What's really cool is depending on that time of year, you're not really into a migration situation. You're into more resident animals in okay. and around the area. So if you're in the right spot at the right time, well, you could have some unbelievable honey. Right, and I believe this first trip, this first hunt we're gonna share is with you and some bull that you some shot up there. monster bull, big, big barren ground caribou, way bigger than anything Vicky's ever shot. I've never shot in Northwest. Well, then I could have shot a spike bull and it would have been bigger. That's right. So that's, so, only, that's the only claim to fame you have now. <laughs> Watch Roll the, the footage. footage. <laughs> and she ain't there. I think we move around. Uh, the wind's blowing. Well, wind, wind's coming this way. Yeah. It's coming out of the east. Yep. Yeah. Move around. They're going to see us. Yeah. We're just going to paddle in real slow. We're not going to move real fast or nothing. And they're just going to walk over a bit. Then we're going to beetle up and uh, get over the ridge. And get a better a look at them. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. there's mean, so many bulls in there. There's a, there's seven bulls in there. And we really want to pick the best bull out of the seven. It's not in our favor, but we're trying to get a, a, a location. We know they're on this point. You see me? Can we get around them? Let's get up here again. He is, a, <laughs> he is a great caribou. Oh, nice. oh baby. <laughs> he is a nice caribou. Oh, you know, we, we've been watching these things all morning long. And uh, what can you say? We, we, Darcy, I mean, we actually... You actually said, you know, we, we got to put something against us. We're going to have the wind or they're going to see us. Yes. And uh, our best bet was the wind that yeah. we get in and it worked out to our event. Oh. oh man, that is a hell of a caribou. Oh. It is a great caribou that, oh. and what a nice shot. Time for Thermosel's tip of the week. Get out of here, Skeeters! This week's Thermosel tip is real simple. You know, sometimes it really is the little things that can make a difference. In inclement weather, whether it's, it's hot and foggy or whether it's snowing or raining, little scope caps, all you do is pop them open. They protect that because how many times have you all of a sudden come up, got on target and go, oh, I can't see. Those little babies will save you at that moment of truth. Territories. <laughs> Look at. Oh man, that's a nice bull. That bull's got everything happening. Thank you, big guy. Hey, congratulations, Ralph. I guess this is where I'm supposed to tell you congrats on that big bull. Congrats. Woohoo. Yeah, I wasn't there. That's the only reason why you got it. Ha, huh, just kidding. Congratulations, honey. Now, when we get back from commercial, it's going to be Zendel's turn. He's going to go out there on his first caribou hunt up in the Northwest Territories. He's going to take his TC out, and we'll see how he does. 
Welcome back to The Choice. And well, like we said, we're up at Aurora Caribou Camps and it's Z's turn, the Zenmeister. He's got his Thompson TC Pro Hunter and he's ready just about to let him speak. <laughs> He's a nice bull. He is nice, but see, I honestly think this would be better. <clears throat> wow. He looked a little light on the bottom. And his tops are okay, but... You're the man, Darcy. I just think we could do better. And you know what? Down the south end here, we picked up on two more bulls. I just can't judge them from this distance, but we move in on them, and we might have something pretty darn good there. That's worth a shot. One, two, three, four. See them? Yep. They're just skyline. There's one lying down here at about 100 yards. It's a small bull, but the other ones have got to be there because he's lying down. So let's take a look right over top here. <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> right on. Good job. Nice bull. Yes, it is. <laughs> He's down. That was great. Man, oh man. He is down. I thought they were going to stay bedded for a long time. Oh man, you got yourself a nice bull. <laughs> this is great. You got yourself. Do you see the shovels? Double. Double shovel. Good <laughs> Bez's back scratchers. Man, oh man. What a day. What a day. What a week. Oh my. Oh yeah. Two, oh, two nice shovels. Yes. Look at this. Holy. <laughs> oh my God. I've never had my hands on so much handling. Look how symmetrical this guy is. He is gorgeous. Darcy, our guide, spotted these bulls from the lake behind us. They were bedded in this little valley system here, this little marsh. We got downwind, came up behind them, got up on the rocks. He stood up, muzzled around a little bit, and started to walk off and uh, put a good shot on him. Got my first caribou. Hopefully the first of few. This is awesome. TC put a good shot on him. Did a great number. He didn't go five yards. No, you put the shot on him. Yeah, it put a hurting on him real bad. A little bit of work and we got a trophy out of here. Beautiful. Congratulations, Z, on his first caribou. That's Very right. brown caribou. It's a zebu. It... It's zebu. 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 <sighs> see, do do you see what I deal with? Zebu. It's yeah. Zebu. Anyways, congratulations, Zendel. That's awesome. You don't want to go anywhere because when we come back from commercial break, we're going to see if Z can't fill his second caribou tag. Well, he's going to, this time he's going to take out his Hoyt. His Hoyt. So you don't want to go anywhere because you don't want to miss this one. Oh. <laughs> don't want to go there. Welcome back. back to the choice. Now, as you guys know, we're, we're up in Northwest Territories. You scared me. Up in Northwest Territories. And Ralph and Zendel are trying to get some caribou. Well, Ralph's already shot a really nice one. Z's already shot a really nice one. And now, Zendel is going to try to get one with his Hoyt. Yes. You're gonna have to watch and see what happens. You don't want to miss this action. Be nice. <laughs> Z, we got two bulls that are just south of us here. Beautiful bulls. They're both heavy on the bottom and heavy on the top. One bull is better, 
but historically what they'll do is if they're coming through this way they're going to come right through this meadow here mm -hmm. and we just got to find a place to get in position here we again we don't have the wind in our favor but i think we can do this i try. think we can do it we'll give it a try Do we call it choking or the choice? Hmm. Both. See, he changes toys. <laughs> you have the choice of what weapon, or you can bring both weapons. Right. Both. Well, you and Zendel each took a bow and a top and center. You guys yeah. took, you took Pro Hunter for 70 barrels. barrels. Okay, he's on the left. Quartering away, I didn't yeah. even think you were going to get a shot, but you managed to pull it off. I was lucky enough to hit him. Oh man, look at this. Oh, oh great man. shot. Oh, he's got back scratchers, good tops. He's Beautiful. double shovel. Beautiful. Beautiful. Man, oh man. What a way to start the day. This, see, this is just great. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> look at this thing. Central Bear and Ground Caribou. Oh my. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, he is a beautiful looking animal. Look at that, eh? That is just gorgeous. Great. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, when it got past. Nice job, Z. Right away this morning, Darcy spotted these two bulls, and luckily they were feeding right in our direction. We nestled into a set of rocks over here, and uh, the, the bulls fed right to us. One bull fed around us to within 10 yards. I was holding out for this bull. He came in, he came in on the, actually on the other side. We had to turn around. I took a 50-yard shot, 50, 55-yard shot, and uh, luckily, we're filming for the choice. So by the time he was out to 200 yards, we were back on him with the TC, and uh, the rest is history. We knocked him down, and here we sit. What a beautiful day on the tundra. Hey, we sure want to thank you for joining us this week, and we want to thank Northwest Territories. Right, and Aurora Caribou Camps. Yep. Uh, Looks like you guys had a lot of fun up there. We did. You know, you've got to remember that the barren ground caribou up there in the territories, you're in the fall colors. It's just, I mean, it's gorgeous. Uh, wildlife uh, is, is abundant there. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the... Just being up in the territories. Is we should else. also thank Zendo for actually hitting his second caribou with that TC after oh. he missed with the Hoyt. Oh. Wow, it's kind of bright out here today, isn't it? Yeah, I think he's going to push yeah, you in. I think so. <laughs> but hey, we want to thank you guys. Oh, if you happen to see the lucky logo, it was Nikon. The you little, little yellow box. box. If you saw it, you need to log on to thechoicetv.com. Fill out some information, and someone is going to win something really cool from some Nikon. Nikon up. That's right. So thanks for making your choice. The choice. And we'll see you next week. Yes. If we if, don't drown. If we make it. It's all right. You go that way. Yeah, you back it's off. It's shallower here.